The East African region has been eager to enhance the transportation industry in an effort to draw in foreign investors. An essential instrument for luring foreign investors and promoting economic expansion is air travel. In this video, we are going to look at the top 10 largest and busiest airports in the East African region. Hello and welcome to the African Informant. If you find this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's jump to number 10. Coming at number 10, we have the Abed Amani Karume International Airport. The airport was formerly known as Kisauni Airport and Zanzibar International Airport. It was renamed to Abed Amani Karume International Airport in 2010 in honor of the first president of the island, Abed Amani Karume. The airport is a primary airport in the Zanzibar archipelago situated on the Unguja Island about 5 kilometers south of the Zanzibar city. It offers flights to East Africa, Europe and the Middle East. There are three terminals at the airport including Terminal 1 which is not in use but otherwise used as the airport's office on the northern side of the second terminal. The second terminal is used for domestic flights while the third terminal which was launched in October 2020 is the one used for international flights. At number 9 we have Bujumbura International Airport. The Bujumbura International Airport also called the Melchian Dadai International Airport is located about 12 kilometers from the city center in the western section of the city. The airport is the only airport in the country with paved runway which is made of asphalt, a viscous form of petroleum concrete binder. The runway is 3,600 meters long, outfitted with navigational aids and can accommodate all kinds of aircraft. Currently, the Boeing 777 is the largest airplane flying to and from Bujumbura. Number 8. We have the Jili International Airport. The Jili International Airport, also called the Kinshasa International Airport, is the largest and the busiest airport in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The airport is named after the nearby river, the River Jili. The Jili International Airport was inaugurated in 1953 and as of 2015, a new terminal was built which has a capacity to serve up to 1 million people per year. At number 7, we have the Kilimanjaro International Airport. The Kilimanjaro International Airport serves as the country's main entrance to tourism sector. The airport links the northern part of Tanzania, the backbone of tourism, to the rest of the world. The Kilimanjaro Airport Development Company is the company mandated with managing and operating the airport with a mission of developing modern infrastructure, facilities and offer better airport services to aviation stakeholders and for the general social and economic development of Tanzania. At Kilimanjaro International Airport, NSIs of currently operating commercial aircraft may land and get all ground services. Low population density in the area permits unrestricted takeoff and approach without difficulty. Coming at number 6, we have the Moi International Airport in Mombasa. The Moi International Airport in Mombasa is the second largest and the busiest airport in Kenya. In the year 2020, the airport was named as the best airport with under 2 million passengers annually in Africa. Also known as the Mombasa Airport, the airport is managed and operated by the Kenya Airports Authority. The airport was named after Daniel Moi, the former and the second president of the Republic of Kenya. The airport receives four weekly Qatar Airways flights operating with A320 aircraft. The airport has two terminals. The first terminal is used for international flights. However, some airlines such as the Kenya Airways can use both terminals. The second terminal is only used for domestic flights. At number five, we have the Entebbe International Airport. The Entebbe International Airport is the largest and the busiest airport in Uganda. It is located on the northern side of Lake Victoria and it's only 40 kilometers southwest of Uganda's capital, Kampala. The airport is the only international airport in Uganda. However, through the government and other collaborations, a new international airport called Hoima International Airport is currently under construction in Hoima District, Uganda. The Entebbe International Airport is also currently undergoing massive renovations and expansion project 
funded by the government of South Korea and the People's Republic of China. The goal of the expansion project is to double the passenger terminal's capacity during peak hours from the present 410 incoming and 320 departing passengers to 930 arriving and 820 departing. Additionally, the redevelopment will allow the airport to expand the number and availability of international flights. The expansion project is estimated to be completed by 2033. At number 4, we have the Kigali International Airport. The Kigali International Airport, previously also called the Kanombe International Airport, is the largest and the busiest airport in the Republic of Rwanda, located in the Kanombe suburb, found on the eastern side of the central business district of Kigali. The airport serves as a primary airport serving the capital city of Kigali. However, the government of Rwanda is currently constructing another mega airport called the Bujesera International Airport in the Bujesera district in the eastern province of the country, south of the Nyabarongo River. Upon completion, the new Bujesera International Airport will replace the Kigali International Airport as the main gateway to the country. It will be the biggest and the busiest airport in the country. Coming at number three, we have the Julius Nyerere International Airport. The Julius Nyerere International Airport, formerly known as the Dar es Salaam International Airport, is the largest and the busiest airport in the Republic of Tanzania, located approximately 12 kilometers southwest of the former capital city, Dar es Salaam. The airport offers flight destinations regionally to the whole of Africa and internationally to Middle East, Asia and Europe. The airport has three terminals. The first terminal is used for chartered and private flights and has a capacity of handling 500,000 passengers annually. After the completion of the third terminal in 2019, the second terminal is only used for regional flights. However, the second terminal is expected to be closed on June this year to allow for innovations. The new third terminal serves international flights and has a capacity of handling 3.5 million passengers per year. The third terminal has two phases, the first and the second phase. At number two, we have the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, formerly known as the Embakasi Airport, is the largest and the busiest airport in the Republic of Kenya. Kenya also has other international airports, namely the Moi International Airport, serving Mombasa and the entire of the coastal region, the Kisumu International Airport, serving the entire of Nyanza and the western region of the country, and the Eldoret International Airport, serving the entire of the North Rift region of the country. The airport was renamed to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in 1978 from Embakasi Airport in honor of the first president and prime minister of the country, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. The airport serves Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, and is also the main gateway to East Africa. As a result of the expansion project by President Uhuru Kenyatta, which added arrival terminals 1A and Terminal 1E, the airport can now handle 7.5 million passengers annually from the previous 6.5 million passengers. And finally, at number one, we have the Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport. The Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport is the busiest and the largest airport in Ethiopia. It is also the busiest and the largest airport in East and Central Africa, seconded by the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Currently, the airport serves 12 million people annually. In its plan to become the leading airline company in the whole of Africa, the Ethiopian Airlines has been undertaking massive expansion projects at the Addis Ababa International Airport since 2014, and as of now, work on the third and the final phase of the project is near completion. In the first phase of the expansion project, the floor of the second international terminal was expanded, increasing its passenger handling capacity from 6 million to 22 million per year. Ethiopian Airlines has also finished building the VIP terminal as part of the second phase of the airport expansion project. The two-floor VIP terminal has restaurants, a press briefing room, a meeting room, a cocktail ballroom, and a VIP salon. The African Union, the United Nations Economic Commission for East Africa, and other international and regional organizations have their headquarters in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The building of the VIP terminal was essential because Addis Ababa is the political capital of Africa. Upon the completion of the third phase of the expansion project, which is currently underway, the first terminal, which is domestic, will be transformed 
to international standards, increasing the airport's passenger handling capacity from 12 million to 25 million annually. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.